Well, they are your local experts in personal finance and at East Wisconsin Savings Bank. That includes investment with Wisconsin Mutual Investment Group. Today with Holly, we're talking about making smart financial decisions over the holidays. Good morning, Holly. Good morning. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. You know, it's such a busy time of year, mm -hmm. and people might not think about your aspect of life right now, but it is really hectic for you folks too, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, this time of year, I definitely want people to be focusing on their families, you know, spending time over the holidays with them, and hopefully not having money on their mind too often. Um, but with the new year, it comes that mentality of new year, new me. Yeah. So did you know that 95% of New Year's resolutions are actually fitness related? <laughs> um, only 10% of those make it past the first three months, oh, which okay. is another fun fact. <laughs> so what I want to do this year is challenge people to make financial fitness a part of their resolutions. Okay, how can we make those resolutions stick past that 10% of people yes. with fitness? So financial resolutions are actually one of the easiest resolutions to keep. Um, it's not a gym membership where you need to convince yourself to go after January. Um, it's really a one-time effort to set up. So mm -hmm. that's where a financial advisor would come in. Um, you know, you just got to convince yourself to meet with them, and then they really take it from there. Um, that's not to say that we can't do more. We can't... Um, be more involved. I yeah. love it when I meet a client that wants to really get involved and ask those questions, but that's not everyone's cup of tea. Sure. So no matter how much guidance you're looking for, one key to making it stick is having someone on your team like a financial advisor. Are there any benefits to investing earlier in the year than mid-year or later in the year? Yeah, so there are a couple benefits. One of the big ones that I hear a lot is the fact that it's a new tax year. Um, it can sometimes just be simpler across the board to invest or make investment moves in January versus December. Um, so that way we can be strategic about how we're mm -hmm. taking any gains or losses or just the tax picture as a whole. Um, another thing that a lot of my clients like to do is use any year-end bonuses that they might get through work uh, and maybe just do everything all at once so they don't have to worry about it at the end of the year. So if you have retirement contributions you want to catch up on, um, it can be nice if, if you're fortunate enough to have a year-end bonus to just use that in one go. All right, let's talk a little bit about finances being tight right now for a lot of people. We're buying Christmas presents and things like that. How do we stay, the, like, so keeping up on our savings. Yes. Like we might be a little bit behind on our savings, but we don't have to get too far behind. Yeah. Yeah. I think between, like you said, between all buying those gifts and yeah. just year end expenses, I think everyone's pockets are feeling a little light right now. Mm -hmm. um, and that's not something I want to ignore either. I mean, we're looking at the full financial picture here. Yeah. Um, so we want to make sure that we're tackling maybe any debt that came up during this time of year or even before this. Um, also, student loans are beginning again in February, so that's a big stressor for people, and I don't want it to be something that we put off. Okay. So when we meet, we'll make sure that we're looking at, okay, what debt do we need to tackle first, but also how can we keep up on those goals, the retirement, buying a new home, anything that's in the near future, we don't want to let it fall behind. Last question, what should, what should we look forward to? in financing and possibly investing in the new year. Yeah, so I have some exciting news. Uh, thanks to all the trust that our clients have put in us over the past year, uh, we needed more help. So we brought on Deborah. She actually has worked on the front line at East Wisconsin Savings Bank for a little bit now. So she'll be a familiar face and she's gonna fit right in in our investment division. So that personal investment experience that our clients have come to know and love is not going anywhere. If anything, it's just gonna be enhanced with more people on our team. Nice. Awesome. All right. Well, there are six East Wisconsin Savings Bank locations throughout the valley, and you can meet with Holly and her team at any one of them to reach Wisconsin Mutual Investment Group. Check them out on Facebook at WIS Mutual and their website, eastwis.com slash investments. There you see the phone number, too, 920-766-4646. Thank you, and happy holidays to you. Thank you. All right.